Hey guys, what's up? It's Meg, and today I'm showing you guys my long-awaited room tour for Grand Valley. I live in Pine right now. I have less than a week left of school, I'm pretty sure. And I thought I would show you guys my room tour finally. I just felt motivated today to do it, plus I only have less than a week left and I have time to do it today throughout studying for my finals. If you guys aren't from around here or aren't or not sure if you're going to Grand Valley and you haven't really looked at the rooms and stuff, Pine is sweet style. Basically, sweet style means that you have a a bathroom connected to with a suite mate so it's me and my roommate and then we have two suite mates and we have an adjoining bathroom together our room is a decent sized room nothing like out of the ordinary they have another uh, suite style uh, on campus and it's definitely I would say not as nice as pine living area but it's they're both still pretty good and actually our lounge area in our building we have a ping pong table and stuff like that and Riley just came in Hello. hey anyway so that is our uh, like kind of overview of like what the sweet style is at Grand Valley without further ado let's go into the room tour So that's the door to walk in. As you can see, you know, they gotta show the emergency plan, obviously. But we just hung up our coats on the wall. Down here is like all of our shoes. We hang up our shoes that we don't wear. When you walk in, it's there's kind of like a narrow spot right here. But the way we have it set up is that we have a living room like a lot of people i know don't have like a little like sitting area like we do we used to have a, actually a really furry rug right there but it just got really dirty throughout the year and a lot of things have happened on it so it was best just to throw it away but we bought these tables at ikea what's cool is that you can pull them apart like that and take them out and like move them wherever we have a playstation down there i play with that sometimes currently i'm trying to be Marvel Spider-Man, so it's actually really fun. The graphics are really good. Recommend it if you guys are into that kind of stuff. Then over here, we have Riley's yoga mat. Riley's rolling out muscle thing. I have no clue what that is. And then we have a box fan because our actual room isn't air conditioned, but the hallways are. We have a nice like long mirror that I brought from home. There's me. So I have this really cool poster on my bedside. It says nugs not drugs. Let me show you. It's like kind of like an inside joke with my friends. I guess let's talk about like my area. I'm not really gonna go much into detail for Riley's area because it's the same thing and it's Riley's area. I don't know what she wants me to show or whatever. Let's go into my closet area. Honestly, I could care less if you guys see my closet or not. So I'll show you what it looks like and how crammed it is or whatever a girl's closet would look like in Grand Valley. This is how much space you get. It's actually very decent. It's a little messy and I have like more clothes down there. Like that's this. I'll just show for a second, but this is like all my underwears, my bras, my socks. Okay, I have an obsession with like socks, so that's why it was like filled with socks. This is like, I guess, pajamas and shit like that. I have a lot of clothes. But for some reason I feel like I never have enough clothes, so that's an issue with me. And then you think that's all my clothes here. No, I actually ran out of space. See, my winter clothes takes up so much space. I have a specific drawer for that. This drawer, as you can see, is pretty deep. So like, it holds a lot um, of clothes and stuff. This is my only other clothes drawer. Right here, I'm kind of like by the kitchen areas, like I would say. I got a Keurig for our dorm. Believe it or not, I never use it. Riley uses it like every day. I just hang up my purses on my ladder. My backpack normally goes around here. Normally we actually do have a rug right here too, like a long rug that goes right there, but we ended up taking it out. So this is like my desk area. I promise you like my side of the room never looks this clean. I just cleaned it all like seconds before I made this video because it looked so gross and it needed to be cleaned. Also, I recommend, even though it seems so cheesy or whatever, put Christmas lights underneath your um, bunked bed if you bunk it because it brightens up your room so much more. And we even have Christmas lights 
right along the window it really like makes your room more pleasant and just like sets the vibe i guess of course i decorated it with you know pictures from home my friend gave me this so i brought it and then of course my drawings and well paintings i guess this one's kind of creepy but it's like cool like it looks like an album cover these were the ones that I've done throughout the year when I was like bored one day or whatever. And then that's me when I was a baby. Um, my line drawing and this picture. In here, I never actually used this at all. But we have some really cool artists from like past years. They decided to draw a dog that sketched in some cool marks and stuff like that. Here is... Yeah, there's, okay, there's nothing in that drawer, actually, so I'm not really going to show you that. This one is, like, I guess, medicine drawer, toothpaste, random stuff. Here, I have a bag, my stabilizer, all these folders that I never used, or folders I did use in classes that I just kept my shit in. This is the other side. Um, as you can see, water bottles, because you might want some water bottles that aren't see-through. And then we have some games, ping pong paddles, because we have a ping pong table in our lounge. This thing right here is what I like take my makeup home whenever I like come home or anything like that. So right here is like my deodorant, my lotion, because when I get out of the shower, I actually change right there. So like everything is like by me that I need. This is like the makeup stuff and like these top drawers are pretty filled. They're filled with hair stuff and then I have hair stuff up there, makeup palettes there because they don't fit anywhere else. My mug, my bowls, cups, more lotion, some food, some homework stuff. It's kind of like a random like area. Here is the next drawer. And I just hold all my towels in here. Honestly, you guys don't need that many towels, just to let you know. Like, I use one towel for the whole week, and then I wash it, and then use it again. So really, honestly, one towel is just enough, but, like, two would be probably better. This is the very bottom drawer, because I already showed you the middle one earlier. But this one is just filled with really, really unhealthy stuff, basically stuff that I eat. Also, like, if you guys have one of these things, these things come in handy, like a little thing to write on when you're ever, you're like sitting on your bed, or if you're sitting on the couch or whatever and you want to do homework. That's like my area, my portion of the room and stuff like that. I promise you guys, my bed never looks like this. It's never made. This is probably the third time I've ever made my bed. I have like a little thing on the side of my bed. I don't know if you guys can see. And I hope it holds like my charger, my headphones, like maybe some snacks that I was snacking on during the night or whatever, drinks, stuff like that. Recommend getting one for your side of your bed. This is just another like overview of everything. We keep our supplies like up here, our cleaning supplies and stuff like that. So they're out of our way. This is the door to the bathroom. This is like the one thing that I really like about our room because our bathroom is super, super nice. Just an overview of it. And then we have the top two drawers, like random stuff. Nothing too exciting, more like random stuff. These drawers are actually, like they hold a lot of stuff. We have this side, this is like our side. That's where we kind of put our towels. We have the top two. And then our sweet mates brought in this hanging mirror. So, which is cool. This is the bathroom. Whoa, why is my camera doing this? You see those? I apologize for the lighting because it's just really crappy in here. But this bathroom, shower is awesome. Nothing too special, but it's super nice. And then that's our sweet mate store. That's my room tour. I hope you guys liked it. I know it was a little on the longer side, but that is Grand Valley's sweet style pine living area room tour for you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will be back with another video. Bye!